Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsunzan campaign. We picked things up for episode 3 from turn 51 in the harvest season of 200. So we have fast forwarded 50 turns in our first two episodes as we migrated down to uh, Yijou. And we are holding only the north side now because Tao Tian surprisingly launched a coastal raid all the way down. First they took uh, this piece of land, they colonized Linhai I believe. And then they launched a sneak attack to our fishing port without us knowing. Because our vision's here, but you can get to the fishing port, I believe, through a southern route. Or maybe he just sailed really fast because I don't have the end turn, you know, observe AI vision on. I turned that off, so I don't know how AI actually moves. Uh, we did get a diviner. We are going to build up our first army officially this turn. And then we're going to launch it down south to reclaim our own land. Zhao Yun leveled up. Not bad. Um, so getting night battle on uh, our generals are great because fire arrows, because they will eventually all be using our white horse fellows. Apply that. This is fine. Um, this is the army we're going to build up. And this is a good time to switch his titles around. Uh, General at the left for recruiting. And as we are going to recruit quite a bit of units, we want them to be as cheap as possible. So we're going to be borrowing uh, some items from our other generals so that, you know, we can get some bonuses. So the higher instinct your army has, uh, the more discount you will get in terms of army recruitment. It'll add up all three generals instinct together. But right now we're going to just put as many instinct items as we can. Uh, in this case this will give him some morale when commanding. That's a good bonus in general to have. We have a few items. Would it affect people's satisfaction? Okay, not to the point where it will make them hate us. So in that case, we're going to do it. Even though Water Clock is also really good for replenishment, but we'll switch that back probably next turn. We're going to steal this Stone Pig. Yan Bai who needs this for satisfaction. Okay, that's fine. We'll take that. I will be taking this one. And none of the sword give us extra instinct. So uh, Guo Jia actually starts with pretty decent instinct. 2%, 2%, 6%. We got another 10% discount going on. 5% from this, so 15% discount for our first army recruitment. The central units for this army is probably tribuchets, um, at least one or if not two. He doesn't start out on the, you know, uh, he starts on the right side of the tree. It's not bad. Foresight is actually pretty decent. What we're gonna do, huh. I think for Guo Jia, he will just have two siege weapons. That's all we will put on him. Yan Bai Hu will be our main strike force. Poison arrow is almost online. We have some piercing, uh, armor piercing damage boost. And then for him, hmm, final rush is not that great. We're almost at reach. We're most definitely picking that up next. And then Polyflame the Phoenix. All right, so right now the only one who can actually end up using special arrow types is going to be Yan Bai Hu. So we're going to put three white horse raiders on him. And this is probably the size of the first army. It's going to be a sneak army. So this is going to beat uh, Zamba's army. I think it can. I, I don't doubt it. I don't think we need to invest any more than necessary. So we're just going to do that. And then he's going to swap to... General of the right, three titles in one turn. Okay, now mustering is needed, so they will take a break. Uh, we will probably recall, get them healed. You guys are fine, building is fine. I think that's pretty much it. Right. Let us continue. Oh, did I... 
Right, four more turns. Summer of next year. Gotta remember that. Okay. Everyone becoming friends in our faction. Very lovely. Traders are pretty useful because um, they give you a surplus market assignment. But we do have pretty good mustering going on, but given the terrain, what we're going to do... Oh, I should have swapped it back on the characters. I mean, everyone's pretty happy with us. I guess we're fine. You can keep that. I think it's better for him to use a bow. I'm probably going to start moving the army. Because we want to go here, and you can see that it takes four turns. But even if we lose the 10% mustering, we still have 16%. Ooh, that's still a long time. Okay, one more turn, and then we'll start moving, I think. It's the goal here. 16% off of, what, three turns, 70-something percent healing. Yeah, we'll wait. We will wait one more turn. And rebellion is not happening. Well, maybe you guys can scoot out. Get it going again. Can't mess with taxes. Don't have cap. Uh, don't have faction council. Yep, nothing's going on. Let's continue. Alrighty, new item. Another discourse of the state. Good stuff. So I do want my weapon back. Um, I'll give him the battle axe before. It's gonna be on cooldown right now. I'll give it to him next turn. It's time to move. And the reason why we're gonna take the land route is just because uh, if we get caught in the water in a delegate, this army would do really, really poorly. And uh, we definitely don't want that to happen. Here, you can read it for now. Be a good satisfaction boost for you. We took away your other item. Our dear wife is also fine. I think right now we're actually doing good on satisfaction. No one's on title, and the only person on title is actually giving us plenty of benefit with the upkeep cost discount. We are going to get a new reform next turn, which hopefully means we can upgrade this. Uh, so that means we'll rush this next turn. But for now, we're good. And we have a... Oh, no. Oh, I skipped a chance for people to gain some... Uh, relationship with the leader um hmm you see the one who's kind of dissatisfied yeah but who's dissatisfied we might have to give him a title too now the one that gives fire arrows That one gives poison. Maybe there. I don't. I think there's only the one that gives poison. The fire is for flaming shot. Range damage. Yeah, flaming shot. I mean, he could get a title. If something can maybe help us here, extra morale doesn't really matter. Extra morale, hmm. It's just that he's really highly ranked. Here, we're gonna let you take a random title one. Um, you can be our attendant, my patrol officer or patrol commander. Keep them happy. Keep on moving. Yep, we'll be healed next turn. We have our new reform, which I mentioned is probably going to be the level 4 in building. That's the only thing that I see that can really help us right off the bat. We can also get more food. Uh, higher level. That's not the one we want. That's the one we want, but we need grain for that. It's actually not available. We can probably get this next season, because we'll be recapturing it. Hmm. 
Some of these are tempting too. I think we'll get that. That's probably the most useful for now. And that takes exactly five turns, so I will rush this. So we're at max base peasantry as of now. Or 15. Not bad. Um, it's not great either, but it's workable. And the plus 24 population here off of this one building alone can offset any public order issue in this commandery because we get two counties. Minus 12k is the worst, so minus 24k is the most we'll face. So this building itself will counteract that. And the population growth we get from reforms and administrators will help increase our population steadily in this commandery. So we will have positive population here. Um, with that said, when are we going to get a rebellion? Two turns. Okay. We can't do this until next turn because we messed up the timing. And just quick check. <gasps> New faction. Declare war. He became a vassal, so he gained vision through his vassal master. Let's continue. Alrighty. All these rivers. Okay, nothing else has changed. Let's uh, boost this. It's going to be a big help. We're in a final tier, plus 10 satisfaction. That's probably as good as things will get for our faction in terms of keeping everyone happy. And let us continue. Hero's Aid. We picked up an item. Book of Mountain and Sea. Very, very, very good item. Um... Hmm. The thing about Book of Mountain and Sea is that I believe you need to be leading the army to get it. It needs to be on the commander, even though it doesn't say it. Oh, it says this army. Oh, okay. Then very clearly you're going to be holding on to that. And get across the river this turn and head to war. Ooh. Why so many? And not a single useful one. Any of you with items? Uh, stone pig. But not worth hiring for a stone pig. Okay, so nobody. Did you come with an item? Another Taoist monk. Okay, we can share the experience on this. Got the 91% capture chance going on here. And our second Taoist monk. Nope, didn't capture him. Guess 91% doesn't mean 100%. Alright, we're good to go. Let's continue. And guess what we see? Their army sailing up towards us. Huh. Liu Yao is also destroyed by who? Sun Quan? Well, my friend. Welcome to Yizhou. We're gonna ignore that, because going back to Chase is meaningless for us. Now we know this is wide open. It will come take this. Uh, defending has always been something we have been planning to do. We would have the garrison, we would have some generals. Mm, do we have enough to beat him is very questionable. 
Whether he has enough to take us is also questionable. We want units. I don't know. Hard to gauge whether we can take them without our burn officers. We basically sailed away our strongest group. No, 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 no. What are we doing? Come join us. Oh, he only likes our wife. Yeah, he would be a better combatant. Nasty of steel, plus a good weapon. Boost his satisfaction a little bit. I think we have a bronze horse for you next turn. If you want it. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna let this zone protect him. If we get sieged, their job is to launch an assault back. Yeah, we'll just fight with the garrison. I think we'll be fine. Let's continue. Alright, they actually sailed back to defend, which is interesting. Mao Jie got the event because he's disciplinarian. Therefore, he's not going to be recruiting anyone. Oh, I am at a, my army cap. Alright, so we did get the fight that we ended up wanting to have in the first place. So him leading will give us two morale in enemy territory, which is not a big deal. Yanbai Hu leading gives us plus 10% firing rate, which I think is a big deal. Yeah. We gotta first finish the move and have him lead. And we get the fight that we were looking for. So obviously we're not favored in this fight, but I think we got this one. I want to fight a siege battle so that they can stay inside, but maybe the AI will be smart and think they were stronger and charge out. But even in that case, uh, with stock units, we should be fine. So let's just fight this. Alrighty, so these guys are invisible. Um, they also can shoot and remain invisible. We have a pretty tall task ahead of us for sure. We're probably going to take the fight here. In case they do charge out, we have the option to uh, kite away and not get hit with other towers. I am hoping they just let us pound them with the trebuchets um, for a while. M might not happen. They, they might charge out. And also we have only level 1 trebuchet, so accuracy is going to be really bad. We're going to set them up here. These generals can stay here. Everyone has the skill for vanguard deployment, which is actually pretty cool. We are going to put probably this group on the opposite side. There's a very likely chance we might not be able to kill them in 40 minutes. If that turns out to be the case, uh, we obviously would be technically cycle sieging them. But if that's, that's what we have to do, uh, that's what we have to do. Not intentional. I'm not going to try to shoot and then retreat. I'm just going to try to fight the 40 minutes. If we don't end up killing them, then too bad. We have to fight it again. I really like the rock on our left because it kind of limits the cavalry angles by a lot. Now, if only uh, the game will let me drop them where I want to drop them. Hmm. 
No? You feel like you're colliding with that one? There we go. Sure. They cheated. They know there's units on that side. That's why they deploy there. I think it's just the AI has a calculation of where my units are and they weight the units and then they put their deployment. Yeah. Because they see this group, they don't see that group. Why are they there? Why are they not here? It looks like they're charging out, uh, which might be very possible. Because it looks like they're really gunning for it. So I'm just going to do as much damage as I can to that. I'm going to send Yan Bai Hui in right here. That might buy us some time, actually. Because we might see all the units start pulling away. Oh, oh by the way, the Tribuche is dead. Um, we're just going to try to do as much damage as we can. More accurate there. Now, can I get the AI attention? No, they don't care. I'm gonna capture this too then. Ah, they care! Okay. The vision pool worked. Even though I'm still- oh, no, I'm not invisible anymore, but I was invisible up until that point. Here, let's reduce their morale by a little bit. They're gonna charge. The, the tribuche is dead. It's fine. They got about 200 kills. It's good enough. Looks like all the cavalry are not home. Alright, I reduced their morale by 10 points very soon. Okay. I don't, mm, I don't want to really take tower shots. Health is premium here. They see them, so they're going after them. At least this way, if we end up cycle sieging, you know, we're not going to get more ammo from this, this Privyshays. You guys will know that's not what we're trying to do this for. And they're still going to go out. Which is great. Go, go, leave, 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 leave. Alright, someone's morale is already tanking. Oh, they're on defense, right. Oh, Sian's units, unique units, actually doing work. Wait, are they still firing? We got one guy still firing randomly. Can we fire here? I thought I thought they're doomed. I just like gave up on them. This cavalry is having a hard time getting through this unit. Hey, yeah, we're getting hits. We're still getting kills. 168. All right, target here. Melee cavalry's like, how do I kill these guys? I don't have any roars or anything like that. It's the bad part. Alright, I, I think we got one more shot before they come in. Nope, they're done. Alright, I'm invisible again. Now everyone's invisible, they're gonna pull back, so I'm gonna show someone. Hello. Come chase me.
So we're sieging and somehow we're still looping them. <laughs> I gotta run. Are they far enough out that I can go capture that while being stuck? Oh, did they send something back at home? Feels like they did something there, but not really. Keep pulling. Get all the towers first. Hi, guys. Okay, we got all the towers. Go back to our formation here. I'm gonna slow it down real quick. We have to get ourselves a good poison volley across the units. They can go park in here. Go, 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 sneak inside. Hi guys. Come on, do your thing. Bye. Alright, we're gonna go back inside our little defense. It killed a bunch of cavalry, so like it worked. <laughs> we killed so many with the poison volley. And the kill counter doesn't accurately reflect that. You see how the kill's not going up even though they're still ticking damage? This is how many got killed by the arrow portion of the poison volley. And then think about the continuous damage afterward. Oh meanwhile. Our units are inside. Well, at least the cavalry made it first. Uh, these boys are a little bit slower, obviously. Uh, I'll put them right in front. You guys right behind. Hmm. He's invisible again. Let's sneak for another attack across the other groups. I'm trying to get the cavalry to charge us it might be hard. Maybe we kill the spear units off. They're lining up pretty nicely. These are already routed, so don't worry too much about them. I also want to kill a general. Ooh, they also have internal rivalry going on, so we should definitely kill him. Oh, they're not moving anymore. Alright, don't move. Let me be invisible. Let me do my shot. I guess this row will be the one we're targeting. We might show, yeah, we show ourselves. Stock only works up till so close. But I do want them to charge me. Come on. That way they get scratched. Scratch. There we go. Goodbye. I'll go chase that one. Another two routed. We lost some more men. They're not charging. I don't know why they're waiting. <laughs> Little do they know what's happening inside their base. Come on, make sure they don't come back. Actually, we probably want to kill everyone, don't we? Are they getting closer? Kind of are, but I don't know what they're trying to wait for. I'm gonna look away. Some more things to kill first. They start charging, we gotta start running. Right now it doesn't look like they're charging.
I think they're trying to like line everyone up first. Actually, archers kind of pointless. Spearmen are the ones we want to make sure we kill off. They're not moving up yet. What is our range? Okay, about the edge here. They have snipe. They don't have snipe. Right, so we probably want to use these guys a little bit differently. They're still not doing anything. Like these guys we can hide in here. They're killing civilians, uh, but... And basically we can let them kill off units as they rotate back in. Oh, we can go even more aggressive. Something like this. Alright, they're fine. I'm always worried about this group right here. The yeah, man who will take care of the spear units a bit more. Come kill that. We'll show ourselves to them. Not, not like any of them can actually chase me. AI is confused. Like, they're not moving. I want them to charge me so I can lead them through this hallway here so that they can chase through the middle of the encampment and then we can just shoot at them, but it's not happening. Did I, like, break the AI here? They don't know what to do? They're not even moving. What's going on? That was a terrible poison volley, by the way. We didn't scratch any of the units in the back, and they tanked it pretty much with their shield. So can I hit you? They're still not going to respawn. I'm going to kill you. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, run. Uh, don't run that way. I'm going to chase him. Alright, they're not responding at all, so I'm going to come show them some units. Alright, so he was friends. Mijo was friends with Sun Tian. Fallen friend. There, he, is he coming? No, he's not. They're, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. Well, we're gonna use our units. I'm not gonna just sit here and wait with them. Maybe they'll respond once they see some units. My, I mean, Yama who did a superb job. Oh, they routed, so shoot them. You chase them out. Fire! Uh, turn off fire well, because they'll pick up targets on the way, because they can fire while moving. They're spread out. Although, I have, I mean, we're still invisible, but like, what do you want to do? Like, when I fire you, these guys have, they don't have snipe, so. I broke the AI. Wait, why are they stuck? They still know how to do loose formation. It's not bad. These guys don't have to shield. Oh, they're spear warriors, so even better. They're just not going to move, are they? Oh, 
I just want to lead you guys back. Any chance I can? If what if I move towards? Maybe maybe this will get them to move. Usually AI really don't like it when we uh, take their settlement. Hi guys. Care to visit us? Do something. Back facing us, shield wall. <laughs> He's just tired. He's been chasing too much. Alright, even sitting in the city no longer interests them. I don't know. Something's wrong. Oh, they're shooting at the right target with auto fire. Good. So now they're all targeting him while on the move. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. run away. D don't engage like that. There we go. There we go. All right, save some ammo. One target each, come on, one target each, everyone can share. What now? They're just gonna sit here? Duel? Oh, oh, we can we can get a duel. Okay, okay. That's something. He has mending though, uh, which is rather annoying. I don't know if I can beat him. Oh, we got... We got someone! Come on, chase us, chase us, yes, chase us! Are they chasing us? Come on, chase us! Hi! There we go. He's going for Gordia. Nope, Druk. You got me. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. I gotta slow, slow it down. I need you guys to come on. Bait. Bait. Gonna work. Yes, yes. Let's do it again. Yeah, they're just gonna watch me kill their range units apparently, so we will do just that. I got it. Trot cavalry coming. Bring one to you, my friend. Get those spikes ready. Yeah, we broke the AI. They don't know what to do. 
Then we're gonna kill. That's what we will do. No. You can do much more damage to your units this way. Nope. Don't even think about it. Sack them. Ah, oh. give us more time. Would have killed everyone. We still have ammo on those guys. All right, we have gained imperial favor for drawing, even though we murder so many Han units. Okay. We got ourselves a level up, which will only make the satisfaction a little bit more difficult. But it will actually make this title more worth it, because 50% now is worth 24 points. <gasps> Give him terror. Sign us up. Wait, really? Does the 50% desire for higher office not work? That is wrong. Poison arrow. <gasps> Capture chance, poison arrow. Mm. Zamba. Not that useful for our faction. I mean, if that's the case, I'll put him back on patrol commander. Hmm. That math is wrong. Well, round two. Sure. Now it's a no-brainer, but we'll do it cleanly. Let's go. It's a foggy day. Well, it's the same setup with less trebuchets. We'll still put all the spikes here. They helped us kill a few cavalrys here and there, so... Overall, still very useful. Yeah, the invisible units will stay on the same side just because the AI would just put the units in a weird spot otherwise. Oh, they're just doing that. Why? Because they can't see majority of our forces? Is that what they're doing? This time they might not come out because they feel disadvantaged through and through. Oh, actually, why am I doing this? Go take it for free. Um, so siege weapons can now move up. Invisible and sniping units can also move up. Poison volley, where do we want it? We want to loop back into their land and then shoot them from above the square. We'll control the pacing of this, because the poison we want to space it out. 15 seconds each volley. Alright, volley number one. Oh, they're also burning the town, because they're bandits. They're like, throw fire, throw fire. Settlement damage, all good. Uh, poison wears off. Oh wait, why are we not doing that? One volley. Stop throwing fire. It's like there's the house on not on fire. Gotta make sure it's on fire. Tick tick tick.
Are they not all on poison? Like, I keep deselecting. It's weird. careful. They don't see us, but that charge was kind of scary. done move it back hide in this thing find a new angle <laughs> burn burn a new part of town No, no, no. The people burning the towns exposing themselves. No, poor guys. Stop burning. Alright, go take care of that. Cavalry is always a good solution to generals. We have poison on them, so as we kite, no one can ever catch us. Because there's 50% speed debuff on the poison. Suppression. No way. Yeah, yeah, charge that, please. Time to go steal their morale. Alright, you guys go here. You guys can be invisible. We'll cover you guys. Right, let's just break through here. They look weak enough. And then we start kiting out, and then we'll shoot some poison arrows on them, slowing them down, debuffing them. They're back resuming their invisible ways. We can kite that one. Yeah, by who has taken out their morale very soon. I should see a mass rout pretty soon. Alright, turn around. Kill that. Kill that. Bring that up. We didn't even need the poison volleys this time. He's not unbreakable. I don't know why it's so... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Poison invisible archers. Alright, we have retaken. Ijo. Zamba did get captured. Well... 
This is a tough call. The bonus doesn't really apply to us as a faction. But he's still a good character. I think we'll let him live. And we'll be taking it back. Good. Uh, so that finishes. We get the reform. We upgrade this level 4. Boys got leveled up. Good job. And we can get the army ready to uh, sail for the mainland. Now, it looks like we're going to definitely have him lead because the replenishment is very different uh, with him with the flexibility bonus. We might change our targeting. Sun Quan's here. Oh, we have not officially met Sun Quan yet, have we? No, Liu Dai is new. Yeah, new vassals getting added in are the only new factions we're meeting. So because Sun Quan is... Like, Sun Quan and Liu Bei are factions that are strong, but we haven't really met them yet. We're going to not go this way, I'm going to keep to our plan, and we're going to sell this way. Um, whether we sell at the current strength or not is a question. I think we might just wait two turns just to get this retinue filled up. They're pretty important. They're not this group. I don't need them to be that healthy. I just need them to open up the siege. Uh, it's nice to have, but before they get flaming shot, they're not that useful. And we'll still defend this here with this group. I might send a couple generals to stand in here in case we get attacked again in the future. But if we do lose it, we can always take it back. It's not that big of a deal. Definitely want to protect our capital. Right, we'll send Liu Yao and our wife down south, what could go wrong, and we will summon our son onto the field here because he's really the capture general, right, he's he's doing all the capturing for us. And you guys can work together. Six, if I could step out. Eight, okay, that'll be quicker. And then we'll send them here just to hold it for us, uh, they can kite and use the retinue to take care of any invaders. And that should do it. <laughs> we got a bunch of uh, titles. And let's continue. Ooh, military alliance. That might mean... Ah, uh, no, only vassals. It doesn't, it doesn't add. Okay, that's good. I would not want to really fight. It's also here. Oh, army limit. Right. Army limit. That means you get to sit on the bench for a while. That might be bad for your satisfaction. Um, what if we swap you out? Ah, perfect. Because there's no satisfaction issue with... Wong Sun Zan himself, but he can probably sit on the bench for a while, and that way we're okay. Mom can come out. Sure. Simon's still going. Spring, new turn, new reform, a new year, I guess. And we're going down the fishing route. Only takes three turns. Now we gotta go get that lumber so we can actually. Uh, I think it's fine. Let's let's not wait any longer. All right, so you can see that you have to sail back to the mainland area to get to here. So which means Tao Tian's army somehow snuck in between our vision during the end turn, which is very impressive. But here we go. Uh, because we're still on the friendly coast, we can get a little bit of healing. We'll... We'll pass on that just to get there faster. Alright, that's the plan. Let us continue. Ah, so many. I 
we see him before. Nope, not interested in anyone. I believe these are still all abandoned. I think we'll meet our first faction in Nanhai, which who we have to declare war on. And then we'll meet another faction in Gaoliang. And then we'll probably meet Shixie's group in Hepu. Uh, we're probably going to Hainan first to take that island. Our son picked up Dutiful. Alright, Rebels next turn. Nothing else is really going on. We're going to hit a reform block where after we take this we have nothing to build. Which is fine. I don't think I want to upgrade this even though our food... Our food can take it. With the new reform where the food from fishing actually increases by quite a bit. It's only 10 more food to hit small regional. We might go for it. Uh, our food surplus finally moving things up for us. It is also summer which means we can do this. Just to get ourselves tip top shape. And same exact bonus. Let's continue. Remains hungry. We've got another discourse of the state. So corruption is really not going to be an issue in the late game for us. Um, which is good because we are playing this as total war. So there's no vassal making or anything like that. Ah, sure see it's faction. Is that? We should take it. Hello. I think we take that fishing, uh, the trade port. Next turn, we take that. That's our landing spot now. Because if we're going to fight Shisiet here, it's better than fighting, like, like declare war, then sail over here and fight him. We just start from here then. That way we don't even have to worry about the Nunman threats until later. Alright, that's useless. Everyone get a little bit of experience. Hmm, he's still administrator. 15 reserve. I kind of want to get more resolve for population growth. I guess we'll go this way, although going this way is faster, but this is completely useless for administrators. I mean, technically these are completely useless for administrators too. Alright, let's go up this way. You sure this doesn't work? Ah, oh, that's nonsense. Alright, you can be senior officer. We gotta rank up our faction. Getting more land will definitely help, so we will start to expand. We got an armor too, but no one really to use it. Wilson's on sitting pretty on the bench. We are fine. They will attack next turn. Let's continue. Alrighty. They're piecing out. Ooh, our they, they, they just still don't like each other, huh? But they were friends earlier, but now they're not friends. And then, like, we were rivals earlier between Gong Sun Zai and him, and now we're not rivals. Relationships all getting flipped. Clark. I guess this is the turn where we actually return to the mainland. Turn 62. We have returned. Oh, decisive. I'll just... I want to fight it cleanly though. Pretty easy to fight this cleanly. Let's do it. Alrighty, familiar map. Trade ports, fishing ports, all look the same. Um, we are going to take up the same exact spot. This time they're going to feel weaker for sure, so they will not come out. Uh, I'm going to put Yanbaf on that side to sneak inside and do some damage. We're going to just put put these boys right here, everyone shooting poison, stand right here, stand right here. They have no cavalry so no need to put spikes down. Once again, because they cannot see the majority of our forces, they are not going to move into us. Very interesting. Well, we're still invisible, we're still going to take stuff by being invisible. Maybe he'll just win the whole war for us. 
脚步。发射，准备开战。不不不，我动作快点，射击，听命。You're getting shot. You're getting shot. We're all getting shot. 敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。Hi, I'm here. You guys have no spear, by the way. Fire well. Now we're hitting them. People are dying. Poison Molly's gonna gonna fire. We're gonna go capture the tower from behind them. Hi guys. Bet you didn't expect me here. Oh no, that was good. I thought he was gonna be out of range. Wait, not that one. Oh well, it's it's fine. No, the essence of clean means no shooting at us. Okay, we might have lost a few units, but that's about it. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta chase down this archer. Do not volley us. Alright, relatively clean. Alrighty, we're in Nanhai officially. We lost two units. And I think with that, we are going to end our episode. We have Nanhai's official faction here. We're obviously going to declare war on them. And fight them. Um, we're going to get a rice patty. We're going to get a trade port. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a second commandery with a school, which will open up some reform routes for us, which would be nice. Um, it's level 7. Should be very hard to take. Um, but we will probably get it done um, with this army. I don't think we're going to expand out until we get more money. Um, so yeah, we're going to start here and slowly grow our way around. If we have Han Empire as our neighbor, should be good. Uh, most of this is still unclaimed, so there's a nice buffer zone between us and potentially Sun Quan. And then we're going to just push across into uh, the south here and just take everything that Shixie has. And then hit up the Nanman factions. Hopefully by that time our economy will be good. And then we can have Fire Arrow on horseback beating them back in the jungle. That's the idea. Um, we can start looking to expand out from our base of operations here as well. Most likely going to shift some generals over. I'm not sure about starting a new uh, army, but right now, yeah, right now we definitely don't have the income for a new army. This would be a good income uh, later on. We'll build something very similar to what we have here. Uh, maybe not the tax collection since peasantry really doesn't synchronize here that well, but we should have enough money to flush out our first army. And then once we have this flushed out, we'll continue to expand and make more money and so forth and snowball our way to victory. Uh, hard to say right now, given that we have three counties versus the rest of the world here. But I think we got past the developmental phase and we have returned to the mainland. So I hope you guys enjoy this and see you guys next time. Bye!